Taurus, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading. Whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. And everything they will need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angel spirit guides and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Taurus, so we're going to be taking a look at the person on your mind. We're looking at their current energy towards you at this time and kind of what that, like where it looks like that is heading moving forward. We have the Page of Cups, the High Priestess, the Three of Wands, The Three of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. And we have the Queen of Cups. All right. Someone's in their feelings here. I definitely feel like somebody's missing you. Someone's definitely missing you here, Taurus. I feel like somebody's matured a little bit. You go right under this Queen of Cups, I, we go from this Knight to the King. Um, the Knight of Wands right to the King of Wands. I definitely feel like somebody has matured a little bit. Uh, somebody could have been a little bit emotionally immature. Uh, in the past, maybe they played games emotionally or they just were a little bit emotionally immature. Um, and I definitely feel like somebody has matured. I feel like somebody's kind of, um, I don't want to say, it. some of you guys, they could have went through a spiritual awakening with this high priestess energy here, or for others, they just kind of matured. Some of you guys could be, could have been in separation with this person for a while. Um, it doesn't have to be the case for everyone, um, but it definitely could. This person with this page of cups could also be younger than you. Okay, um, and then maybe that was part of the uh, issue as well for some of you. Now, with this page of, or with this Queen of Cups energy, I definitely feel like somebody's missing you, and I feel like they are, you know, seeing they're seeing whatever happened between the two of you in a very different light. Now, with the Page of Cups being in their thoughts, I think somebody is uh, thinking about communication. The Page of Cups can be an apology, um, an expression of emotion. They could just be thinking about reaching out, thinking about apologizing here. They have the high priestess for their feelings. Like I said, for some of you guys, I definitely feel like somebody has went through some kind of spiritual awakening here. Um, for others of you, I feel like there is a lot that was hidden for them that is coming to the surface. Whether it was like perspectives and things that they just weren't seeing that they're able to see now. Um, or whether it's like hidden or repressed emotions kind of bubbling up for them when it comes to this, when it comes to you, okay? There is this, uh, there's energy of, you know, the unknown as well with the high priestess. She's all about secrets and mysteries. And I kind of feel like this person doesn't have any idea where you're at with things. Now you could have this person blocked on social media or maybe you're just not on there or you just don't give too much. I feel like somebody's not sure uh, like what you have going on in your life, especially with this three of pentacles being the challenge. The three of pentacles sometimes to me can talk about things being put on display. Like their work is on display for everyone to see. So they may not be able to see or maybe you just don't give away too much or they're just not quite sure for others where it doesn't have anything to do with social media. It could just have to do with they're not sure where you're you stand with them after all this, okay? Um, they're not quite sure if you're on the same page. Three of Pentacles can talk about, you know, being on the same page, um, you know, to, to work and create and build something, and they're just not quite sure if you are um, after everything. They have the Three of Wands for their intentions. So the Three of Wands has intentions. The Three of Wands can talk about sending something out. It's a card of a manifestation. They could be trying to manifest some kind of either communication from you or some kind of positive outcome from their communication. The Three of Wands can also be a card of future thinking and foresight and looking ahead, making plans. I feel like somebody is doing that as well. 
and three of wands is a card of you know hope though so i definitely feel like somebody is trying to be hopeful that they're going to reach out and express this to you and it's going to be received um and reciprocated but i feel like that fear of not being sure is what's kept this person um, from taking action up to this point because they have a knight of pentacles here and the knight of pentacles is a very slow moving energy it's at, kind of at a being at a standstill where they figure out okay what's my next move um, but it can be very overthinking it can be very very thorough you know and that can be a very positive energy but sometimes it's like analysis paralysis where they think about it so much um, you know that they don't actually end up taking any action and I kind of feel like that is the case here okay where somebody has been you know just thinking about things and overthinking about things and worrying about things um, that it's kind of kept them stuck frozen not taking any action towards you at all but I do feel like that is about to change um, we have the eight of wands here for their uh, for the potential outcome and the eight of wands here can be communication you can definitely be a, a you know back and forth communication but it's also clear direction and forward movement um, you can see all these arrows are moving in a specific direction so it's like somebody is figuring things out I do feel like they are going to be communicating with you I like that they've kind of grown up here there seems to be some kind of I mean, like emotional maturity happening here for this person. We have the King of Pentacles here as well. So I like that too. I feel like somebody's coming towards you. This is your energy, Taurus, coming towards you very serious, very committed, um, with a lot of regrets. You know, I definitely feel like some of the Five of Cups, sadness, regret, disappointment, grief. Now, Taurus, for you, I definitely feel like you're going to be a little bit distrusting. I see the Seven of Swords here. Um, and to me, this is your energy as well. I feel like this was very, very painful for you. I think it really, really hurt. And some of you guys, I definitely feel like you're a little bit distrusting of this new opportunity that's going to be presented to you with the Seven of Swords and this uh, Ace of Cups. So there's definitely some kind of new opportunity. It could be very um, triggering as well. This could definitely unleash a lot of feelings in you that maybe you have you know, thought that you moved past or you, like you thought you were over something and now it's kind of like bringing it all back up for you. So I do want to kind of prepare you for that as well so the signs that i'm seeing for you i see cancer i see pisces scorpio i see aries sagittarius capricorn taurus and virgo so those are signs i'm seeing but this this reading can definitely still resonate for you even if i did not mention a specific sign but that is what i have for you i do hope that this helps if it resonates let me know if it doesn't that's okay just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings all of that is in the description box below for you and if you want personal prayers for any reason just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and i will go through and pray for you but if this is where we part thanks for being here guys and i will see you next time